Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. In this video, I'm going to discuss the design I posted uh, about my nativity scene. Someone requested or made the comment, I should say, that maybe it would look better with less symmetry. Well, we're going to fix that without redesigning the whole project. Hang around. Okay, so I posted this video, it was actually yesterday, but when you watch this, it could have been a year ago. And this project is my nativity scene, layered designs, five different layers. And I am sort of OCD about keeping things <clears throat> symmetrical, excuse me. I used to install aftermarket parts on vehicles, spoilers and ground effects and all that. Things had to be perfect. They had to be lined up exactly right. They could not be askew in any way. You put somebody's spoiler on their deck lid a little bit crooked or a little bit off center, you, you having to replace or fix or paint deck? No, it's gotta be perfect. And that's kind of where this all stems from. I like to have things symmetrical. So let's look here at this post I put up. Uh, this was in uh, Facebook. And I posted, shared this in uh, several different groups, but this was the laser engraving community. And I got a post, uh, take a look here at the photo. You can see the stars are completely symmetrical with the reverse image of each other. The, the little lambs are symmetrically spaced uh, you know, on either side of Mary and Joseph and aligned with the columns. I mean, it is, I mean, let's face it, it's perfect. <laughs> But, you know, you don't see that in nature. It's not real. Well, you do. Actually, you see symmetry in nature all the time. But you wouldn't see it in a gathering like this. And uh, Richard Allen post, <clears throat> it was nice. Might look nicer with a little less symmetry. Now, he wasn't being derogatory or negative. He was just, you know, stating his opinion and he did it in a very nice way and I appreciate that. I appreciate that type of feedback because it also stems to videos like this. So my reply to him was, you are entitled to your opinion, but my OCD won't let me do less symmetry. You do how you did, however, just inspire my next short video. We'll see how short this is. It will show you and others just how easy it is to change the symmetry on designs like this with a few simple clicks, no need to redesign the entire thing. I will be crediting you for the inspiration. I'm sure there are plenty of others that agree with you. I appreciate your feedback. So Richard Allen, thank you. You are responsible for this video. So let's jump in here to Lightburn and let's look at this design. I'm going to import it uh, just as you would if you downloaded it from hobowithwood.com. It's going to come into your screen just like so. It is very simple. We'll get it over here where it's a little easier to see. It's just This is six layers. The backing is a backboard if you needed one. Of course, you don't have to cut that out if you're doing it in a shadow box that already has a backboard. And who knows? The only engraving are the stars, and they are perfectly symmetrical. Now, what I recommend doing before you go altering a file is take that file, select the whole thing as I have here, and say Control D, duplicate that entire thing. Now, take that duplication over here, and that's what you're going to work with. That way, you don't have to re import something if you screw it up, or you can go, oh, and you've got another one you can always refer back to. Now, Let's look at some basic things here. All right, we can't really change the, the symmetry. Come on. Can't really change the symmetry and so forth on this one because we want to keep the uh, the barn and the manger. And in fact, the manger needs to stay centered up right there. Put that and, and align it to go to center, dummy. There we go. That needs to stay like it is. Mary and Joseph pretty much need to stay like they are. That can't really change. But doing less symmetry here could be appealing to some that do not obsess over 
oh my god, that's not quite right. That's off half an inch. That's off a quarter inch. So, what I would do is this. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to say Control D. I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'm going to put it on a toolpath. Now that it's on a toolpath, I'm going to select this over here, and I'm going to put it in the center just like it that I did the others. Now, that's centered up, and you can see the lambs are perfectly symmetrical there within Lightburn. If you didn't want that, and, uh, and when I assembled it, they're proud and out front. And I'm going to show you another really neat trick. Don't go anywhere that's going to let you experiment with how the different layers are going to look right here in Lightburn when you change your order of stacking. You can see it uh, real easy. You don't have to imagine it. All right. But right now we're going to look at changing the symmetry on these, these sheep, these lamb. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off, I'm going to quit showing my red layer. So now all I see is the lamb. I'm going to ungroup all of that. Now I'm going to grab, uh, let's see here. Uh, well, you know what? I can just do it like that. Grab that whole thing. It's all ungrouped, but I've selected it all. Now go into node editing. Now when you go into node editing, it's going to show you all your nodes on the lambs. And what you're going to want to do is select all of those. Make sure you encompass every one of them. Now that you've got those selected, use your arrow keys to just simply move it out. And I've got mine set up to when I use the arrows one millimeter. So it's one, two, three, four millimeters out. And now we'll come over here and grab all of these. And we're going to bring him in two millimeters. And say, okay, now let's, what's that going to look like? Turn your red layer back on. And now you can start to see, okay, well, let's put that on, uh, let's put everything hold our shift button and select the toolpath and we're going to group that back together and we're going to put it on a black layer and there they are out front in front of the cut scene and he, here we're going to uh, and actually you know what let's put that on a blue layer because we've got the stars let's undo there and then put that on a blue layer there we go all right, now we take and grab this layer and bring it in here until it go to center. Now hold our shift key and select our black layer and ungroup those. And now you can just grab, I didn't have the priority right. Since it's in a fill mode, when you try to select, even though it looks like I'm selecting, right now there's nothing selected, it looks like I'm selecting a star. I'm not because we're in fill mode and the layer on top is the blue layer. So in order to be able to select that while you're in fill mode, change your cut priority over here temporarily, bring that down here to the very bottom. And now when you click in here, you're going to get your star. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to teach you that, but you probably some of you struggle with that, but there you go. Neat trick. But now you can select each individual star and you can just move them around haphazardly wherever you think they're going to look better and you know use your arrow keys or use your mouse and drag them around you can say control d duplicate that one and now that you've got it duplicated shrink it down a little bit more so you get more perspective uh control d i can't get too uh unsy unsymmetrical or i don't know so we'll have four on each side and, you know, and that does start to look better, just adding a few more stars in there. But now you're starting to see the difference between, in fact, we'll turn off uh, those sheep there and turn you off and put you on a green layer and send you over here, center you up. And now if you want to see which one you like better, you just zoom in there and you can just toggle back and forth let's move uh, move you down there we go now we can just toggle back and forth here uh, off on 
There's both of them. But see, I just barely moved them. But that's a little bit less symmetry. Now, here is a, the tip I was going to tell you about how you can see all of these layers and change their stacking sequence by changing your priorities. Put each one of them on a different layer. So I'm going to grab the manger. It was on a layer. It's like, you know what? I've got to bring it to the very bottom so I can select it. There we go. Now when I select that layer, it should be on. All right. Now it's going to make a, a liar out of me. Oh, no, that's right. Because, no, it's... Yeah. Even though I changed that, it didn't do it that time. So you can put all these on align mode temporarily. And now you can grab each one of them. So now I want the manger scene, and I'm going to put it on a different path. We've got one, two, three, and uh, so we'll put it on four. Put it in align mode. And Mary and Joseph, let's put them on five. Put it in align mode. So the manger scene, that's the only thing left on the cut layer. Okay, so now put everything back in fill mode. And now you can see here, the, sh the, the stars are going to be on the background because they're an engraving on the very back layer. Uh, but your sheep are way back in the back behind there, and I don't like that at all. So we can move them forward by changing their priority. And Okay, then that puts them out front. Uh, but they're behind, and see, by changing the symmetry, and I moved that lamb over here, if I put it behind Joseph now, the lamb's head is blocked by Joseph. So <clears throat> when I was designing this originally, that was part of the reason for their spacing was that so no matter what order you stack these in, nothing was going to be obstructed. <clears throat> but here, by moving that, making it less symmetrical, it's no longer stackable behind Joseph without being blocked. So you would have to bring that on down like that. And then uh, I put Mary and Joseph out in front. And here you can't really see it uh, because they're not, they are spaced equally beside each other. Uh, but you, by putting those on different layers, you can see as you're designing, is something going to block the other one? So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it informative. I am Steve Hobo with Wood, and I want to say again thank you to Richard Allen for bringing this suggestion up. But now you also see, Richard, why I did that symmetry, because with the way they are currently cut out, no matter what order you stack them in, uh, short of putting the lambs directly behind the, the barn, uh, everything is perfectly visible. So you can put the barn and then Mary and Joseph and then put baby Jesus out in front next to the lambs. That could be symbolic, you know, uh, in different things. But you do you now you know how to take my files from hobowithwood.com and you can just go into quick note editing grab all the nodes and move those things around put them where you want you don't have to redesign the whole thing or start from scratch so hopefully this is helpful hobowithwood.com go check out all the new files and thank you for watching and i want to say a big special thank you to all my patrons i don't mention you in videos i don't scroll your name in videos um, I don't feel like that's something that you want to see or need to see. Uh, I thank you for your support. Without your support, I wouldn't be here doing this. Uh, I've been a little bit behind on getting things done with you guys because we're getting ready for the light burn experience. But we'll get that out of the way and we're going to get the gumball machine in your hands next month. That is a promise. A promise. And I keep my promises. So once again, thank you for watching. I am Steve Hubble with Wood, and I will see you in the next video.